Yo. Anybody out there remember that old song? That old Trina song? It was uh, it was called I Got a Problem. I think I got a problem or something like that. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. I think I just might have a problem. We'll see. to shoot to nation what's going on with y'all today i'm going to be looking at every shoe that i bought for the first quarter of 2017 and i gotta say i bought honestly i, I bought way too many shoes man it's like last year for 2016 i bought a total of 37 shoes and here it is, 2017. It's only, we only approach in April. And I'm already up. I'm already up to over 30 pairs of shoes. We're going to start this off. We're going to drag this on because I know it's going to be a long video anyway. We got to go through all of these, man. But <clears throat> we're going to get to them. And how they came about so right here of course y'all seen me do the review on these not too long ago <clears throat> these are the the Reebok question fabulous collaboration called the Reebok, Liber Reebok question Liberty Bells um, I did a review on these a couple people said that they was filling them but they, they didn't I didn't see any reviews on YouTube for them, so that's why I went ahead and did my own review. And a lot of people said that they, you know, they was feeling the shoe. I mean, you got that, that leather. It's not great leather, but it, it's, it, was, it was designed to mimic like that bronze statue feel. So, yeah, these, this is a solid shoe with the gum bottom. You can't go wrong. Like I said, it's, it could be used for a dressy type of shoe. I got that at Villa on Villa.com because it's a a Villa exclusive. So you can only get it there. And I'm pretty sure it's still available. So I would I would re recommend y'all go pick that up. Right here we got the OG, the Orlando Magic's OG colorway for the Shack Attack 1. <clears throat> Now, I picked this up um, earlier this year around the time when I first started YouTubing. And I did an unboxing video for it. It was actually this video alongside of um, my Maroon 6s, which are right down there. But I did, I did both those videos. Actually, I did the Maroon 6 first and something happened oh during the editing process i chopped it up too much and it got destroyed so when i got these in the mail i decided to do both of them you know to at least give y'all an unboxing and review on that and explain to why i didn't get an unboxing video for that and so when i did this video it went up and it was up for like maybe a week or so and then I don't know what happened to it. YouTube pulled it. I didn't have any copyright claims or strikes or anything like that. I don't know what happened to it, but the video was gone. So, yeah, there's no unboxing video for these. There's no unboxing video for those, but I did do it. I just don't know what happened to it. <laughs> so, yeah, but these these were these were a solid pickup right here. Um like I said, the quality on these weren't the best. 
it was it was actually pretty ass quality but it's a nice dope nostalgic shoe if you if you're into nostalgia and you like that 90s feel you cannot go no more 90s than the shack attack one and of course a couple of OGJs, but shack attack is right up there next we got these uh chicago ogs or the cherries or whatever you want to call them the man the suede on this is really really soft yo like this this is a must-have shoe this just recently came out uh maybe a month or two ago <clears throat> i had to pick these up air force one special field special force whatever you want to call it these were the leather on these are really good man every time i feel this toe box is it, it amazes me a lot of these shoes will remain ds for a while and that's just how i do i'll buy my shoes and then i'll just stock them until everybody else beats their shit in the dirt and then i'll pull them out you know people are oh man i ain't seen these since such and such year and your shit still look crispy how you keep them so clean some people, you know, they get them and they throw them straight on feet walking out the store. I let mine sit for a while until they haven't been seen anymore. And then that's when I bring mine out. So right now, I'm actually just now undesing a lot of shoes from 2013, 2014. But we're we, we going to keep moving on. Uh, here we got two pair of the All-Star Ones, the Chameleon Jordan Ones. One pair is uh, GS, the other pair is men's. This is my size. I got this for my lady friend. Um, that's her pair. Those, those are also her special field, special field Air Force Ones. That is a long title for that shoe. And, uh, these Chameleon Ones, man. Like I said, I'm gonna give me some. Um, some sole protectors for those and then I don't know when I'm gonna rock them but I'm gonna definitely get sole protectors for them because the bottom is just so unique it's, it's so different you don't want to mess that up you don't want to get that dirty so both of those pairs are still DS um, these are not DS I actually wore these a few times recently and I just picked them up maybe about a month ago I've already worn them a few times. This is definitely this is definitely a Grail cop. I got these off of uh, DopeFoot.com for a good price. Uh, right there, you see shining in the background. Unnoticed. <laughs> you cannot not notice this shoe. But my last video that I put up was my review for these. These are the Patrick Ewing collaboration with Two Chains. There it is. Two chains on the back with the 3M, the checkerboard Louis belt effect. <clears throat> that that right there, man. <laughs> that's a dope ass shoe. But that's still DS, of course. Um, here we have the Ultra Bright Air Max 90s. I wore these on Air Max Weekend. Not Air Max Day, but I wore them that Saturday because Air Max Day was on a Sunday. So to represent, you know, Air Max Weekend, give them they, they do. I wore these to work Saturday, crept them down. These are the Jordan Top 3s. Uh, and I, I forgot to mention, a lot of these shoes didn't come out this year. These are just shoes that I picked up. All of these shoes didn't come out in 2017, but I did pick them up uh, in 2017. So these top threes, they came out last year, but I picked them up this year. Um, I picked them up for a good price off of a guy in a Facebook group. He gave me a fair deal on them. Um, I will be, I think I will be undesing those soon. And of course, you got the alternate sixes um, or the hairs, some people call them. Six is definitely my favorite Jordan silhouette. 
and this like I said this is a clean shoe um if you have the maroons I don't I don't think this shoe is a must-have I honestly don't I mean there are some there are some some differences you can see side by side but honestly if, if you ask me if you got if you got the maroons you really don't need all the, the alternate sixes the hair sixes but if you have if you don't have them and you get the hairs you don't really need to pick up the maroons because i don't know they that's just my opinion like i said that's just my opinion um right here another grail pickup the carmine sixes these are ds from the countdown pack i got these these are also i got from dopefoot.com um I'm, i will be looking to undes these these this summer here you have the take flight eights now these came out this year definitely a dope pickup these actually sold out um not surprised by it but with the way that jordans are sitting this year i, I if i feel like other than the take flight eights and the all-star ones i feel like every other jordan has sat they're still on shelves and I don't know. I think Jordan's doing it to himself. You're coming out with too many shoes too fast, back to back. Here we have the three peat eights. This didn't come out this year, but I copped them off of a friend of mine for a steal. I think I paid like 125 for those. DS. Um, here we have some the alternate eights. These these are definitely dope. This might be another one of the exceptions to undes and these this summer. But I'm, I'm looking to get those Pure Money 4s. If I get those Pure Money 4s, those are going to be my go-to summer shoe. Because that shoe is just clean. And then, we, of course, we get to the Maroon 6s. Um, Nike Air on the back. These are not DS. They've been worn. I bought them from Dopefoot.com. So... <clears throat> they will get some wear this year. Um, here we have the Kobe Mentality 2 in the vault colorway. Grid SD. The suede on this is immaculate, yo. It's, it's perfect. This is actually the type of quality that I'll be expecting from Jordan when he does new buck and suede shoes. That's the type of quality that I'm looking for. But I got to get it from Saucony, so... Those are the blue joints that I picked up earlier this year. Um, these, the Chrome 8, I picked these up off of a girl on Facebook. Her and her boyfriend had a fight. She was selling his shit, and she had his Jordans up there. <clears throat> she let me walk away with the Chrome 8s for $70. So, I'm happy with that. Another steal. This was actually another Grail pickup. Even though these are kind of, they're kind of beat up. I did save them a little bit. They did look a lot worse than this, but uh, I saved them just a little bit. They probably need a little redye. But that's definitely another Grail shoe of mine. The Black Grapes, Black Grape Five. Um, I got these for a steal as well. I got them for 120 off of a guy. These Reeboks here, all four pair of these Reeboks came from a, a finish line sale that I also had a promo code to put with. So yeah, you have <clears throat> you have those, some white and uh, tan going on, very clean shoe. And of course you got the red, white, and blue with the tan around the toe box. That's another clean shoe. And you got this burnt orange with the gum bottom. Like, that's another clean shoe. And then you got the black with this icy blue bottom. The black leather with the icy blue. Here we got some white grapes. The white grape five. Of course, that's another grill shoe of mine. Um, the Oreo fives. I know it's not a grill shoe of mine, a lot of people, but I'm a really big fan of that shoe. The material, the design, the colorway, everything. I'm just a huge fan. The Jordan Laney Ones also got, got off of Dopefoot.com. Got them for a good price. DS. Nike Air Max, Air Max Day. 
the 326 joints. Uh, those are not DS. I wore them to work on Air Max day. I had to work that day. But I crept them down real good. So really, you can't even tell I wore them. Man, crept attack be looking out. That's all I can say is crept be looking out. So then we go up here, and of course you see this tragedy. <laughs> Three pairs of the Jordan 4 Royalty. Now, actually only two pair are mine. The third pair down there is the GS pair, which is the same, it belongs to the same lady friend as the Air Force Ones right there. But these two are mine. I doubled up in hopes of it selling out and I was going to be able to finesse a trade, but womp, womp, womp. <laughs> like, that was a failure. I don't, I don't understand why the hype died down so dramatically for that shoe. There was so much hype behind that shoe when it was getting ready to drop and I just don't understand how it dropped like that. But yeah, man, so this is this is every pickup so far in 2017. The first three months, this is the three quarter, I mean the, the first quarter recap of all of my pickups. So let, let me go ahead and count this. You got <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Wow. 31 pickups in the first quarter of 2017. That's, <laughs> like I said, 2016, I picked up a grand total of 37 kicks. And I'm already at 31, and we only in, we only about to be four months in. This this is crazy. I'm not even going to lie. That's that's too many. Even, even for a, a sneakerhead, you know, sneaker collector, whatever you want to call it. That is too many shoes for just three months. For 2017, this is everything that I've gotten this year. Um, I'm, I'm happy with, with every pickup, no regrets here. And like I said, that was my recap. So if you enjoyed this video, comment below, let me know what you think about this video. Name your top three pickups this year, whether it came out this year or not. Uh, I, I actually have to say my top three pickups have to be the Carmine 6s, the Ferrari 14s, and I'm going to say the top three ones. Those are my three, my top three pickups for 2017. But like I said, I'm about to get up out of here. This video has already been long enough. Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, comment below, let me know your thoughts, and stick around, because we got more to talk about. Kicks is the conversation. We out. Peace. That's too much stuff. That's too much stuff. Protect, delete, the plan one. That's too much stuff. Hermes in it.